Hi, I'm Cheryl. Welcome to my channel, Home Reach Studio. Guess what we're making today? Mm-hmm. Mardi Gras gnomes. But before we get into that, first and foremost, I want to thank my subscribers. I wouldn't be here without you. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Second, if you're not a subscriber, thank you for visiting my channel. You might want to subscribe because my next video, I'm super excited. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's coming up very soon and it's uh, something a little bit different that I do and something new. Anyway, with all that being said, um, I'm going to give you some fun facts about Mardi Gras because I had to learn myself because I've never been there. As we're crafting up these gnomes, I'm going to interrupt ever so often and give you some facts so first take I have these two black socks and they are from um, Christmas time they're the black sparkly socks and I threw rocks in them about a quarter of a cup and then I took an old pillow the stuffing in a pillow and I filled them as full as I wanted them you can make them fatter taller thinner however you want after you get them um, is stuffed as much as you want really put you know put that in there real tight and then go ahead and tie it off with some string or yarn and then put a dollop of hot glue on the top and I did that for both of them and this mop string mop head string is from the Dollar Tree so we're gonna make a no sew sock gnome with mop head string for the beard you can use uh, fake fur but I haven't used mop head in a while so I thought I'd do that so I cut, I measured from the top to the bottom and I cut five pieces for either side for the female gnome. So five strings on one side, leave about an inch in the middle open because we're gonna make kind of like pigtails or ponytails for her, long ponytails, they wouldn't be pigtails. And um, do five on both sides with that opening in the middle. And try not to get the hot glue on the black no matter what kind of black material it is because it turns white when it dries and you cannot remove it okay so I did that for the female gnome and that's what it looks like and then the male gnome I did the same exact thing only I put a total of 12 and you don't leave um, that separation in the middle and that's what they look like and now grab your beverage of choice sit down and have fun with this because you need to unravel all of these and it takes a while not super long but it takes a while and when you're done unraveling they're full of these little like fuzzy pill pieces hold that string down really well and then just very gently pull upward and get all those fuzzy pieces out of there and not to worry it's uneven we're gonna give it a haircut at the end this is what it looks like when they're all unraveled now we're going to make the arms so the piece that we cut off from the top there just go ahead fold that in half I have dulled my scissors by cutting things that I shouldn't be cutting so I've been struggling with them. These are my favorite scissors. I don't know. I got lazy and cut some wire with it and I shouldn't have bad me. I don't know. What can I say? And now I got to buy a new pair of scissors. <laughs> um, so now we have two squares because we did that with both of them. And you can see I'm measuring them there. They're what, four or five inches. And now we're going to take and take the top flap and uh, fold it down to the middle and then the bottom up and they meet in the middle if they're too fat or too wide you can just overlap them more and make them thinner just as long as both arms are the same length for the gnome then go ahead and fold that up and then put a big long strip of glue from one end to the other but put it down in further because once again we don't want to see that white um, when the glue dries and I'm showing you how to do it again fold it up fold it down fold it in half and then put the glue in there okay so I told you I would give you some facts about Mardi Gras because I had to learn 
I've never been to even Louisiana myself. I've always wanted to go and check it out. I live in Michigan, so it's kind of a long hike to go there, and we don't have family or friends that live down there. So when we do go on vacation, we usually end up going to like South Carolina or Florida or something. But I do want to visit Louisiana. And back to the gnomes real quick. These are all pieces from the Dollar Tree. I just grabbed a bunch of Mardi Gras stuff. Um, beads, you have to have beads. Beads, feathers, uh, headbands, um, that crown, um, whatever they have. Because I wouldn't even know what I was going to do here. I was just kind of making it up as I was going along. I am going to start with the male gnome. And I'm going to first put the arms on and so pull them all the way up to the top because we're going to hide all of that in the top of the beard with the hat okay so back to Mardi Gras on February 21st which is Tuesday that is Fat Tuesday and that is typically the last day of Mardi Gras and that's this year 2023 it's going to be on February 21st. I believe it starts in January and I have heard, I did a bunch of Google research that there's parades and parties, it's a uh, carnival and balls and just all kinds of stuff going on. And there's more to, obviously, you guys probably know, to Louisiana than just Mardi Gras, which I believe is on Bourbon Street. So back to the gnome, I'm putting the hot glue on the gnome first and I'm letting it cool, as you can see in my hand, <laughs> for a while because that plastic hat is so thin, if you put it on when the glue is really, really hot, it will literally melt a hole right in the hat. So go ahead and put that on and let that sit and dry. And I did it to the female also because I need to attach that headband somehow and that's the best way that I could figure how. Um, the female is the opposite way. The, the male's hat is the narrow part is in the front and the female I have the wide part in the front because of the headband that I'm going to attach. So here I just bent that plastic inside that felt and then find where it's detached and then cut it through the material. So I didn't cut it through the plastic. And then go ahead and put the hot glue on that first and let it cool for a little bit before putting that on. And the same thing here, um, I tried to break it but this was a little tougher and it just didn't look right so I ended up pulling all those pieces off like right here. And then I tried to, um, oh, I had to use my wire clippers for those too, because those are really thick wire in there. And then I tried to pick the glue off of this fuzzy little piece here, and it just kind of tore it. So I just left the glue on, and I glued on top of the glue and put it on the hat. So always never put the glue on the hat first. Put the glue on the other pieces, wait a couple seconds, and then go ahead and place your piece. Back to Mardi Gras facts. Um, Mardi Gras, the French term for Mardi Gras is Fat Tuesday. And Fat Tuesday is where, you know, when you go to the grocery store or wherever and you find the punchkis. And punchki means package. I don't know why. <laughs> I thought that was very weird. But I'm sure you guys know what punchkis are. They're like a big deep fried donut and they have like custard or jelly in them. And here in Michigan, we have um, an area called, or a, a city called Hamtramck and they're known for their punchkis. They have the best and um, Polish cuisine and whatnot. So now I'm just putting the nose on these guys here. Try to get it up um, as close to the top of that hat as you can. And her nose is going to go 
in between her hair. Okay, so another fact. Did you know that Mardi Gras actually was uh, invented by a French Canadian explorer and it was first celebrated in Mobile, Alabama? And it was somewhere around the 1700s. I saw some conflicting information when I was Googling this, so I'm not sure of the exact date. And the colors of Mardi Gras are obviously purple, which means justice, gold, which means power, and green, which means faith. And it is rumored that the one of the explorers or a king I couldn't be very exact on this um, who introduced I guess I would say the the colors and the beads and all that um, he chose these colors because they were the color of his house but that but the article I read said rumored so I have no idea if you guys have you know solid information and you know leave it in the comment section I would like to know because like I said I've I've never done this but I thought it'd be fun to do something different than just make gnomes and tell you how to make gnomes because my channel is full of that I thought it might be kind of fun if you don't know anything about Mardi Gras these are just a few little tidbits but there's so much history in here and um, I could read forever on rumors and thoughts and you know whatever but um, Mardi Gras, if I didn't say before, is um, full of parades and parties and carnivals and balls and um, whatnot. People dress in these colors and um, they wear masks and um, they have beads. And the bead thing is interesting. 25 million pounds of beads are used for Mardi Gras. I thought that was crazy. And I guess if you're supposed to throw beads and catch them in the air and if they fall on the ground you're not supposed to pick them up because the locals consider it bad luck so back to my gnome I'm just putting beads around her and there are three different lengths one is longer than the other I'm just trying to kind of jazz her up a little bit here Okay, so another fact, again, um, the practice of eating rich fatty foods is what this celebration um, reflects on. So um, before Lenten, um, and Lenten is a Roman Catholic holiday um, where it's a time of discipline and fasting. Um, here, you go out and you just go crazy and you know, eat all these yummy, rich, fatty foods. And they consider this actually, Mardi Gras, a Roman Catholic holiday, which I thought was odd. I've never heard that, but I mean, I'm Christian, but I'm not, I'm non-denominational. So this was all interesting stuff. Okay, so back to the gnomes. I'm just grabbing this boa that I got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, all this stuff is from the Dollar Tree. And uh, except the wood nose, um, you can get them from the Dollar Tree, but I ordered mine because I don't want the holes in the nose. And I just ordered them from Amazon. So now I'm just putting the feathers in her hair. I thought that'd be kind of cool to put some feathers in her hair. You know, people do that. And my, my daughter. My daughter is in her 20s and we went on vacation last year and she had a feather put in her hair. <laughs> She's kind of this free, happy spirit, fun, loving life person and uh, <laughs> long curly hair and she has this cool little feather in her hair. I just kind of crack up at her. So 
So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do to the male um, gnome. And I think I'm just going to put a bunch of these. They, they're like coin beads. And I'm just going to have him hold them in his hand. He's kind of like he's dragging them across the floor. I hope that's not bad luck. I didn't know that. But um, <laughs> that's what he's doing. He's holding them in his hand. And they are touching the ground. And I just wanted to do something different. I looked at a bunch of pictures for inspiration of different gnomes that were made in the Mardi Gras um, attire. And obviously I didn't want to, you know, copy off anyone. So um, I'm just kind of jazzing them up just with whatever came to mind at the moment. And another fact that I read is that the masquerade masks are to be removed at 6 p.m. on Mardi Gras on that last day by 6 p.m. Now I had that little sign. It came in a package with a bunch of different like masks and whatnot from the Dollar Tree. And I just put one in his hand. And um, as you saw earlier, I gave him a little trim in his beard. It was looking a little sloppy there. And this is what they look like. Um, I wasn't really happy with them. They looked a little sloppy still. So I um, did a little bit more jazzing up. I could put a couple buttons on her and put a f some more feathers in his hat. And you'll see it in a second. And here's what the happy couple looks like. And that's all. I will see you next week with another video. Thank you for watching Homeridge Studio. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That helps my channel grow. And hit the bell notification so you will know the next time I post my video. Bye. Have a blessed week.